Democrats and Republicans can agree on one thing. It is impossible not to love former Vice President Joe Biden. We are thrilled that he is here to talk about the current state of politics as well as his emotionally new memoir about his late son, Bo, called Promise Me, Dad, A Year of Hope, Hardship, and Purpose. Please welcome one of the great men on the planet, yep. Vice President Joe Biden. Yeah. thing my son ever did was wear that uniform. Yes. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> so, JB. <laughs> How you doing? I'm all right, I only man. see her on Amtrak. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, coming and going. But now, you were a Doug Jones, a big Doug Jones supporter. You made robocalls for, and even went down to Alabama. Um, you didn't think they would let a guy like me down in Alabama, did you? Not these days, <laughs> but I was glad to see everybody's no. welcome now. Yeah. How, how does it make you feel better about the nation? It makes me feel better about the nation. It makes me feel better about Alabama. But I've known Doug for a long time. He used to work mm -hmm. with me, help me when I tried to get the nomination. He's, and, you know, this is not just about rejecting Trump, which was real, but it's about Doug Jones. I mean, he talked about, notice the first thing he said, Whoopi, and is he said, we got to do, so. he said, I'm so excited, but we got to take care of child care. Yeah. We got to yeah. take yeah. care of that. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy's a real, it's a real deal. and he campaigned on issues. I mean, he, it wasn't just going after, uh, a matter of fact, he didn't go after, it wasn't just his opponent's record, it was, he went out affirmatively talking about the middle class and what needed to be done. And so I think he's going to be a great senator. When he said something that resonated with me in his victory speech that I was waiting for after the last election was any elected official that represents everyone should say, you know, I know some of you didn't vote for me, but I'm on board. And I waited and waited. This guy said right away, even if you were a Roy Moore guy, it's time for us to unite. We need mm -hmm. to. And, and that's got to be comforting yeah. for everyone in Alabama. Hopefully. Well, I, I, I hope so. It should be comforting for everybody in the country. I mean, look, you know, since when did, you know, you lose an election, you win an election, and the other person's your enemy? I mean, this right. is about, you know, people have choices. and. And the job is you represent everyone. You represent the people who voted against you as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be. Should be. Both President Trump and Steve Bannon went down and campaigned for Roy Moore. So Thank do you God. think do you think <laughs> that it was a vote for uh, Doug Jones or do you think it was a vote against President Trump? I think because I spent time going on the on the street with, with Doug, I mm -hmm. think it had a lot to do with voting for Doug. Mm -hmm. But I also think it was a repudiation of of President Trump's tactics, and uh, and I think a, a lot of folks in Alabama were uh, uh, presumptuous, me to say, but I think a little ashamed yeah. of uh, embarrassed, uh, for sure. uh, uh, embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So, but but I think I, I don't. What I don't want to get lost because I know Doug so well is what a first-rate, serious person this guy is. This right. guy went back and put in jail after 50 years. Mm -hmm. 50 years, those Ku Klux Klaners who killed those little girls mm -hmm. 50 years ago. Yeah. 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 Um, this guy is a, he's a very serious guy. He was a U.S. attorney. I mean, mm -hmm. so he is, he's real. And uh, his dad was a steel worker. He understands what, how to talk to the middle class. He understands that a lot of them are being left behind. And so I, I just think I, I'd rather focus on the positive side of Doug Jones mm -hmm. than the ugly side of that. Of side. Yeah. That's why we love you. Yeah. <laughs> you just mentioned uh, you just mentioned Donald Trump's tactics. And I, I want to mention that uh, Senator Gillibrand of New York called for his resignation in the wake of renewed sexual misconduct allegations. And he fired back, claiming that she was once 
quote, begging him for campaign contributions and that she would, quote, would do anything for them. What exactly was he implying? Do I, you think? I, I, look, let's let's take him, which it's hard to do. Let's take him. I'm not being facetious. At his word, mm -hmm. that he'd say the same thing about men. Maybe I, that's what I heard him uh -huh. say today. Yes. Well, look, the idea that the president is so tone deaf, not to understand how that phrase relative to a woman. Uh -huh. With his record, it's just, it, it's almost doesn't matter. I, first of all, I think it's disgusting. Yeah. But I, but, 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 even, but even, you know, I heard you talk about this in the show. I watch you guys as much Good. as I can. Thank you. No, 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 I do. <laughs> yeah. Whoopi yeah. knows that. Yeah, I, I, I do. Know. <laughs> and, uh, and you talked about, in effect, if I'm not mistaken, and in other contexts about our children are listening. Right. Mm -hmm. Look, you know, when you when our leaders use the kinds of language that are used so often today, we we not only dumb down the nature of the conversation, but we allow the seamier side of society to act as if it has a legitimate place. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I, I just I hope I I, I I just hope there's some movement across the board. Here and raising the quality and tone of the of the discussion. Well, USA Today, it's very interesting. They said about this whole Gillibrand, quote, a president <clears throat> who'd all but call a senator, Senator Kirsten uh, Gillibrand, a whore, is unfit to clean toilets in Obama's presidential library or to shine George W. Bush's shoes. Thoughts? Any on that? <laughs> I can say that's I, USA I, Today. I mean, I, I know I re re I've never ever in my whole career ever read an editorial like that. Like that. Yeah. Right. Um, it's an and uh, I, but you know, I, uh, I, I, I hope we fo look. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it's it stunning. a good college it's try. Well, no, I, I am because because I I I I, I really want to raise the level yeah. of the debate here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, um, one one of the things again, I I shouldn't be saying this, probably hurting your reputation, but what you and I talked about, what well, be about one, you asked me a while ago, years ago why I wrote the Violence Against Women Act. I said to begin to change the culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things I had written in that legislation was a civil rights cause of action that any woman could go after her harasser or her abuser in civil court without having to have the government mm -hmm. weigh in on it. And a conservative court ruled that unconstitutional. Yeah. Hmm. If we had a vehicle like that today, there's got to be a mechanism, right. a mechanism for women and in some cases some men to be able to have have uh, have an access to have their case heard yes. and have it adjudicated. Yeah. And uh, that's the part I think that's missing yeah. now. There, there's no there there's no mechanism. But the exciting part is. And I'm still going around on college campuses doing this It's On Us, mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. men involved. You guys have to get involved, man. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Uh, no, 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 I, I mean it. And it, it, it's not just intervening. It's not just intervening when there's physical abuse. But it is, we have to make the abusers, and this is all about abuse of power, we have to make them the pariah. We yes. have to make them the bad That's guys. That's right. Yeah. And, and, you know, now, and it's starting, I think, right. I hope. So, you know, I'm, I, we're going to tell you that Joe Biden's sticking around. But you started the sentence by saying, if we had. Well, I said, if we had a president. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be right back.